All right, everybody, let's talk about our Unit 2 practice FRQ. So this one's uh, a little mathier, um, but I don't think it's too bad. So uh, let's just kind of talk our way through. Okay, so um, looking at A, output prices and goods of country X are in this table here. Um, assume that 09 is the base year, right, which means that that's going to be a very important time. We're going to figure some things out. So nominal GDP. All right, so we know that GDP is really... Um, P times Q. I should say nominal GDP is P times Q. So here is our Q and here is our P. So we've got three different categories, right? So 8 times 2.5 is 20. 10 times 10 is 100. 5 times 5 is 25. And that adds up to 145. So you see that down here. Um, there is your nominal GDP. And then real GDP in 2010, all you're going to do is take this same quantity, but multiply it by the price in the base year. So uh, prices didn't change for food, so that is still 20. Uh, prices went up quite a bit in clothes. Um, so you've got 60 when last year it was $6, and now it's 10 uh, and then 20 here, so that gives us 100 which is what we see right there. Okay, so not too terrible. Um, B, if, uh, in one, if in one year the price index is 50, and the next year it's 55, what's the rate of inflation? So remember that you're looking at the change in the inflation rate over the base year rate. Okay, so <clears throat> 55 minus 50 equals 5 over the base year, and that is 10. So that's what we see down here, 10%. So they're all percents, uh, but we do want to make sure that we are indicating our signs. Um, okay, uh, assume that next year's wage rate will be 3%, so we're now on C, 3% higher than this year's uh, because of inflationary expectations. So basically what this means is that businesses think Inflation is going to be going up about 3%, so they give their workers a, uh, a raise, a 3% raise. But it turns out that actual inflation rate is 4%. So at the beginning, will the wage rate be higher, lower, or the same? The real wage rate, so that's talking about purchasing power. And that, of course, means that it will be lower. Okay, so that's what we see. You, you did get a raise, you got a nominal raise, but since inflation outpaced your nominal raise, it's actually uh, less purchasing power that you wind up with. All right, now let's look at the opposite situation. Sarah gets a fixed rate loan from a bank with the when the inspected, expected inflation rate is 3%, it actually turns out to be four. So what that means is that Sarah is paying the bank back with cheaper dollars. So she benefits from the unexpected inflation rate because her fixed loan payments have less value. So the way I usually think about it is that the dollars she's paying back with are cheaper than the dollars that she agreed to pay back with because of what happened in the macro economy. So she is the winner and the bank is the loser. Thanks. I hope that helps you guys understand. These price index questions do uh, tend to pop up, so make sure that you understand this. Take care.